long march of the deadly coronavirus and the fatalities that it's leaving in its wake has now sparked the biggest race in humanity to find a cure, to stem the onslaught of this virus, to find a vaccine. So while the world awaits a vaccine, a cure, there is a line of treatment that has got the world very excited. And that is the convalescent blood plasma therapy. So what is blood plasma therapy that has actually made many patients being weaned off the ventilator? Well, let's tell you a little more about that. Plasma is the largest component of human blood and it contains water, salt, enzymes, antibodies and all sorts of nutrients. So in this therapy, the plasma from the blood of a cured person is first extracted, screened for virus neutralizing antibodies. Then it will be transferred into the patient. When the sick person receives the healthy plasma, the immune system will then produce antibodies to identify the cause of sickness or in such cases, the virus. After that, white blood cells will fight with the virus and the body gets rid of the infection. So how will the treatment happen for a coronavirus patient? We told you what the therapy is about. Well, in this, it's practically transferring immunity from a person who has successfully fought and overcome and recovered from coronavirus. So his body has naturally made those antibodies to fight off the coronavirus infection to transfer the immunity through plasma from that patient or that uh, the person who has recovered to a current patient who is currently struggling with coronavirus and is actually on a ventilator and intubated. However, there are a few conditions under which the blood plasma therapy can be used from a recovered patient or a patient who's been asymptomatic for a very, very long time to a patient who is on a ventilator and struggling with the coronavirus disease. One of them which is that the recovered patient before he decides or she decides to donate her or his plasma needs to be over 17 years of age, needs to weigh over 50 kilograms, needs to have no other comorbidities like diabetes, needs to be healthy. On the other hand, that particular patient that has recovered and is a donor in this case should have tested negative for over 14 days of coronavirus. The swab test must be negative and the potential donor has to be declared as cured. After this, the process of blood transfusion can start. There are other challenges to the use of the convalescent blood plasma therapy because if you look at the number of patients who are suffering to those who have recovered, there's a huge difference. In India alone, as we speak, the number of patients who are corona positive are over 22,000. The number of patients that have been cured successfully are just over, a little over 4,700. Now, all the 4,700 in this case cannot be automatic donors because they might not qualify physically to actually be a donor. On the other hand, all of the numbers of those who have recovered might not want to donate their plasma because this is a voluntary exercise like blood donation. If they don't want to actually donate their plasma, you can't force them to. They need to come out on their own to do so. So very few of them can actually donate and that is if they want to donate and more so the plasma from one person cannot be used on many patients. So there is a limitation in that. And lastly, is the blood plasma therapy the magic bullet that can fell the march of the deadly coronavirus? No, it's not. It's not a cure. It's not a vaccine. But it is a treatment which has not been approved as such yet, but has shown promising results. In India alone, if we look at it, the first case came in from Delhi, where a 49-year-old male patient intubated on ventilator was weaned off the ventilator after being given blood plasma by a patient who had recovered. So promising in that sense, and now Delhi is using it in a big way. Seven other states have started the use of blood plasma therapy. The origin of it started in China, which was uh, the origin of the pandemic, and they had certain promising cases as well. When coronavirus outbreak happened in China, China had used the treatment to treat critical COVID-19 patients. Two trials of plasma therapy were conducted on 15 coronavirus patients and they showed improvement. So yes, it's not a cure, it's not a vaccine, 
But in these bleak times, if a patient is critical, it could very well be that small silver lining. Thank you.